Hello everyone, welcome to my channel CodeLogic. Today we are going to see how we can develop a multi-user login system using uh, Bootstrap Angular and Spring Boot. So uh, without wasting any time, let's get started. Firstly, we will see the demo and uh, after that uh, we'll go into the code part. So here uh, you can see this is our uh, login screen. Uh, we have three fields first is a username second is password and third one is a role okay we can choose a role uh, admin or user and after that there is a login button and when we click on uh, need account it will redirect to a sign up page where uh, we are going to fill the data and we will register only the users admin uh, will not be able to register also uh, we have here a login button uh, login uh, that will redirect our to a login page so now uh, we will create a new angular application with the command ng new so i'll call the name of application is multi user auth uh, so i'll add routing and also choose the property css it is taking time Meanwhile, you can subscribe to my channel. Okay, our uh, application is running now. So we go inside our folder. Yeah, and now we'll open that in our VS Code. Okay. Yeah, so it is open now. So you can see inside a SRC directory. Uh, we have application so we'll open a new terminal here here uh, we'll first create two uh, components with the command uh, nggc auth and inside auth folder we'll create first login component and then after that uh, we'll create a sign up component auth sign up Now we'll create a, another terminal. Uh, we'll here add a command ng serve. Okay, you can see our application is compiling now. Yeah, it is running on port four double zero. Okay. So yeah, it is loaded. So you can see this is our application multi user auth app. Okay. So we'll now uh, go inside our project and we'll do our changes. So inside auth folder we have a login component. So you can see there are four files are there. So in sign up also uh, we have four files. Now uh, we'll open our app component dot html file. We'll remove everything. Uh, we will only left the last line we'll leave it as it is okay router outlet okay yeah so here we'll add a uh, app login module uh, login component so it is uh, added now okay so it is compiled successfully yeah so here you can see login works uh, is the content of that login HTML file. Okay, now uh, we'll go into a uh, Bootstrap website. Uh, we are importing a uh, Bootstrap in our uh, project. So we'll copy the CSS file, CSS code link, and we'll go inside our uh, index.html file. And uh, yeah, in a head section we have added that. Also, we are going to copy the uh, JavaScript. It is a bundle JavaScript, and uh, we are added that into our body. Okay. Now uh, we'll open a login component. Here we'll remove that code. So here uh, we'll add a class container fluid. It will automatically create due tag. So we we'll add a row. Then uh, inside that row, we have uh, three columns. 
so uh, first column uh, with have width 6 and second column with width 4 and last column with width 2 okay here added there here uh, in first column we'll add a image uh, we have added image into our uh, asset directory i'll provide the link below for the image we'll remove alt attribute we add your height uh, which is 100 percent and uh, width also 100 percent okay that's it now we go uh, inside our, our second component second column we'll add heading there welcome to code logic we'll add class as a text color we'll change it to a uh, success which is a uh, green color also add some uh, margin top 3 then uh, create a form tag inside the form uh, we'll add form so in bootstrap uh, inside documents search for the form so we copied the code okay so uh, we need a select floating select level so this is the one so this one also we have copied we add it here Okay, we remove and add role also we are we have two options admin and user okay uh, uh, for the username we change placeholder to username and we add a margin bottom for each component that is for password and for a select option okay then uh, we'll search for button we'll uh, select this button we'll add it here we'll remove the last one we required only one button Okay, uh, name of button is login uh, in form we'll add a class which have a top attribute 4 now uh, in a button we'll change its outline to primary whenever we hover on that button uh, it will change its color so we have its success now we'll add a header for the form The login I add a text color as a warning okay uh, we'll change it to primary after that uh, we'll add one link uh, for the sign up page means uh, if you want any uh, if you need to create account then uh, user will uh, click on that link and also add a style property of uh, anchor tag so we'll add text decoration as none also add a class uh, and uh, text primary which is means its color will be a uh, blue so you can see it is our, our login form okay when you click on that uh, link it will redirect to our sign up page okay we have not added that yet so we go inside our uh, app models .ts file here we'll add a forms model now uh, for the first name a username uh, we'll add a name attribute as a username and then uh, 
NG module. Its value will be. We are binding that value to username. Okay. So we have not created that attribute yet. So we'll first create uh, that attributes username, which is of type string, and uh, we'll assign value as null, which is uh, empty string. For, uh, we'll create an attribute for password and also uh, for the role. Okay, now uh, inside our login component, we'll add the name for password. It is a password. We'll add, we'll bind that uh, password field with the ng model. And uh, for the option also, we'll bind it. Okay, uh, inside our uh, login component, we'll create a roles array. Okay, uh, we'll initiate it inside a constructor. Inside that uh, roles array, we'll have two attributes. First one is admin and second one is a uh, user. Okay, now inside our uh, options select tag we'll remove all the options there and we edit first option so here we'll add a uh, ng4 let r for roles okay then uh We'll add here ng value as r and change value of option type rather than ng value we we'll select only value okay and on the click of login button uh, we'll call one function there and inside that function we are just printing the values to console So in login function, we are printing the values. So it will be visible in our uh, developer window. Okay, now uh, we'll go inside our app component.html file. We'll remove the uh, app login module there. Now uh, in app routing, so we'll add routes there. So first uh, route will be uh, first variable is path. Inside that uh, we'll add empty. So whenever we first uh, visit to localhost, it will redirect to a login component. Then uh, we'll add second, uh, which is a sign up component. Okay, and uh, yeah, path will be sign up. Okay, now uh, we'll go inside our login component and uh, we add here router link. Uh, it should redirect to sign up when we click on that uh, need account button sorry uh, anchor tag okay uh, we'll copy the code as it is and we'll go inside our sign up component and we'll paste there okay so we'll change the text there 
we'll do required changes here uh, inside our sign up component now uh, we don't need a select type because we are not going to register admin we are only going to register uh, users there okay uh, we'll copy the first part and we'll add it as it is so uh, it should be a name full name we'll change attributes there So email will be as it is, password will be as it is. We'll change a uh, login button to register. And also a uh, last time to login. And on click of that button, we'll create follow method sign up. And a router link will be slash. Okay, now inside our uh, app component.ts file, We'll declare variables name which is of type string we'll assign as a empty string value uh, declare another variable username which is also type string uh, by mean of username uh, it will be a email address then password now uh, We'll create that sign up method here when your user click on the register button uh, we are uh, just now printing the value in our developer window but uh, in our next video we are going to connect it with the, uh, our backend so uh, this dot name then uh, username and the last one is password okay everything is good now so you can see this is our uh, login page when we click on need account it will redirect to sign up page so that's it for the video guys yeah in the next video we are going to connect it with your backend we are going to create a rest endpoints using spring boot yeah thank you for the watching video guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe and don't forget to comment below thank you Okay, you can see inside auth directory we have uh, two applications are 